Welcome to this new video. I'm Eduardo Lina. This video will give you a small glimpse into the Moodle world. Since our concern is with Moodle in the framework of the English Department of the Ministry of Education, we should discuss the dig into digital templates, right? I will leave all that to Leah, who will meet you in another session. Leah will be discussing Moodle for high school. I will take up in brief something that Leah may not be discussing, which is Moodle for elementary school. Elementary school teachers have Moodle templates available, and this is how they can get them. I suggest if you are a primary school teacher, get into this and check what you can get and do with your pupils. And what can you do with your copy of the Moodle templates? besides using them as they are, which is a good idea. Well, you can customize them, you can edit your courses, and on these small newsletters that I've prepared, you have some suggestions about how to do that. With your role as a teacher, you can edit a course. You just click on that green button, and that will allow you to start editing. Notice the different icons that you can see now. Of course, it is a very good idea to learn Moodle in order to start doing that. With the role of a teacher, you can hide or show sections or different items, and you can also add Moodle activities and Moodle resources. To make the most of your Moodle courses, I suggest you sign up for more professional development workshops, such as the ones offered by different PISGA centers. Here's the one that Pisga Holon has been offering for the last few years. The Moodle world offers many possibilities where Moodlers can go to grow. And Moodle headquarters offers some of the best possibilities available. The Moodle Academy, for example, and MoodleNet. Let's start with the Moodle Academy, which is the place where you can learn all about Moodle. As a teacher, you will be interested in the Moodle Educator path. Notice all the upcoming events, which of course get updated all the time. There are many courses that have started and finished and yet you can find and follow. And then you have, of course, Moodle forums and Moodle docs. It is very easy to join the Moodle Academy. It is free. You can create a username and password, or you can join with your Google or Microsoft account. I have enrolled in several courses, some of which I have completed. When you complete a course, you get a budget. Check the courses available. If you want to certify your skills with the Moodle Educator Certification Program, you can do so by applying. As for me, this course has made a difference. Please note, however, that it is not free. MoodleNet is the place where you can find open Moodle educational resources, some of which you may want to use. This is the place where Moodlers share, and I have shared with the approval of the English Department of the Ministry some of the concepts behind the dig into digital templates. I gave fellow Moodlers a glimpse into what these courses are. Join MoodleNet and see how you can filter your search by subjects or by people, and again, it is free. As you see, when you use Moodle, you're not alone. On Moodle documentation, you can find a lot of help for you as a teacher. Join Moodle documentation for free and see how much it has to offer you. Here's another example where you can learn that Moodlers are not alone. The Moodle Moot Global or different Moodle Moots that take place in different countries. I have never been to one and yet I can have access to a lot of things that have been discussed and shown on those Moodle Moots when I use Moodle YouTube. In its YouTube channel, Moodle.org has allowed us Moodlers everywhere to watch many, many videos, some of which belong into courses and others from Moodle Mood conferences, or just ideas provided by Moodle.org, Moodle headquarters. Very good videos that I suggest you watch. 
of course, you can decide which ones are interesting for you and which ones are not. If you want to see Moodle courses created by Moodle uh, headquarters, you can access Moodle Orange School, the demo. You can choose a role, teacher, student, admin, or you can just go to the courses and have a look at them. Again, it is free. Incidentally, you can also use some of the content on your own courses, but you will have to learn Moodle to know how to do that, of course. You see, you're not alone when you use Moodle. In the Moodle forums, you can get a lot of advice, help, you can interact with Moodles all over the world and get to know even more things. You may find ideas that you may apply in your courses if you want to. I also recommend you Google Nelly Deutsch. You will get to see her Moodle professional course development courses. Nelly Deutsch is the teacher who introduced me to the Moodle world in 2013. And that made a difference in my teaching career. Excellent person, excellent courses. Check that. Thank you, Nelly. These are the links to sites that I have discussed in this presentation. I have been a member of ETAI for many, many years. Join us, join ETAI. You will get a lot out of that. I recommend it highly. Thanks for your time and uh, happy moodling. Goodbye.